Back in episode 3 of SMS Ages, we were introduced to Sega's great series of sports titles. Well, it's already time for the next exciting entry in the series. This time we're going to be tackling the sport of baseball, which I will admit up front is not my forte. Great Baseball also shares the honour of being the first Japanese exclusive release on the system. Now it's no surprise that the game, you know, a game of baseball didn't make it out into Europe or even Australia. But it is a little surprising that Sega didn't bring the game to the home of baseball itself, the US. Just like Great Soccer, Sega decided to release a different game with the same name in the rest of the world. So this episode of SMS Ages will focus on the Japanese Sega Card Baseball, but we'll compare and contrast this release to the worldwide Sega Kart release when we get to that game. The game plays as you might expect, with the action viewed from an overhead perspective that zooms in on the diamond during the pitching phase, but will then zoom out to show the rest of the field upon a good hit. Both teams alternate between pitching and batting, so the controls change depending on the current phase. When you're pitching, you can move the player's position prior to throwing the ball, and then once thrown, you can add a little bit of swerve to the ball using the D-pad. Batting is even more straightforward. Basically, you set your batter's position, swing the bat, and hope it hits. That's it. Outfield play is largely automated, with both sets of players moving on their own, and the only real input you have at this point is throwing the ball back to base in a hope to catch a player out. In short, the gameplay is simple, the options are limited, and the graphics are fairly basic. Especially the crowd, which looks like some sort of weird magic eye test whenever you hit a home run, which in my case is not very often. Still, the game is passable despite these flaws, and I could see players of the day getting some enjoyment out of it, especially when playing with a friend. Last time out, we compared Great Soccer on the Mark III to Soccer on the Famicom. In that case, Sega took a fairly different approach to Nintendo and ultimately, in my opinion at least, came up short. This time, though, you would be hard pressed to find any major differences between Great Baseball and NES Baseball. Whether that's a result of copying or just the inherent restrictions of the sport, it's hard to say. Really, there isn't much more that can be said about Great Baseball, which probably explains why it's a fairly forgotten game today. It's probably true to say that its most notable attribute is that it was the first Japanese exclusive, and that's about it. So, not really something I would recommend players of today pick up. Thanks for watching SMS Ages. If you like this episode, then why not try some of the other episodes or other content on the channel and perhaps like, subscribe and share to help spread the word. If you also want to find out more information, you can follow us on Twitter at Irish Nerd Life. Next time on SMS Ages, Sega bring that other 80s stalwart genre, the space shooter, to their home system.